Can I get a countdown? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Courting. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I am having a terrible day as the unofficial president, CEO, and super fan of the Brie Larson fan club. I don't like to see when she's getting an enormous amount of backlash, but there's reason to celebrate in the Brie Larson fan club as she's gotten a brand new show in spite of immense backlash and fan rejection getting a brand new show on disney plus so ha take that haters now obviously we all know that i have a deep love for brie larson i i think that uh you know one of my all-time favorite gifts would be a uh, uh signed photograph or perhaps a large cardboard cutout where brie could hang out on set with me but before we get into what she's in big trouble for just a quick word from this video sponsor meta pcs huge shout out to this video sponsor meta pcs now i know you're not going to run out and quick buy a brand new computer just because i ran this ad but what i would hope is that you'll keep meta pcs in mind for a variety of reasons and use my promo code the quartering to save big at checkout Look, Meta PCs offers custom configurations. It has insane parts availability. They're one of the few people I see out there with the brand new NVIDIA 3090 in stock and shipping. When you buy from them, they offer you build photos as they work along. When you receive your PC, it's ready to go out of the box. It's 100% US-based sales and support. And one of my favorite things, it's a veteran-owned business. Meta PCs is veteran-owned. One of Meta's owners has served in Afghanistan and Iraq and received a Purple Heart for his service. Meta also employs military veterans in the Meta Operations Center and also provides systems to veterans going back to school to help them re-enter the workforce all across the United States. Meta PCs also offers financing. Head on over to MetaPC at MetaPCs.com. Use code THEQUARTERING at checkout to save money and support my content. If nothing else, go configure a PC, build a little wish list, and when you're ready, remember to use code THEQUARTERING at checkout at MetaPCs. Gamer, non-gamer, if you need a PC, MetaPCs is the way to go. My brand new one is on the way right now i look forward to sharing it with all of you i'll try to put it on my back shelf or something neat to uh, display it <clears throat> brie larson called out by fans after doing the unthinkable purchasing an nft brie larson is the latest celebrity uh, to get into owning her own nft the 32 year old captain marvel star took to social media over the weekend, opening up about a recent purchase from the Flower Girls collection, which is a series of 10,000 NFTs. The collection in question apparently donates a portion of all sales to a range of children's charities. However, it doesn't seem that fans were exactly raving about the purchase. After seeing her tweet, many fans called her out. Party Thor was right. Captain Marvel is a party ender. One fan wrote on Twitter with another adding, no, Brie, look at me. This isn't you. Another fan told Brie exactly why NFTs aren't benefiting anyone, writing, Brie, NFTs are bad for the environment and make it easier to steal art from artists. This isn't right. I mean, sure, I, I guess. I am first and foremost one to admit I don't understand NFTs, but I'm not so dumb as to think that they aren't going to be a serious part of the next couple of years in our lives, you know, integrated into video games, integrated into movies, integrated into everything. Everyone's going to be so sick of NFTs. Um, I won't outright call them a scam because I don't know enough 
to do that. I think a lot of people who don't know enough about things will just automatically reject them, like big brain people like Hassan. They don't really understand them, and then they say, oh, it's just automatically a bad thing. But Brie Larson became the latest celebrity to start pushing NFTs, and man, people were mad, as they should be. The British Academy and Film Television Arts woke up and chose chaos with BAFTA nominations. Kanye West doesn't think his daughter should have a, kick, a TikTok account and much more. Hmm. Well, that's quite interesting. I'm not exactly sure what Brie thought. Oh no, Brie Larson is the latest celeb shilling NFTs and people are losing it. We can just look at some of the, uh, you know, some of the conversation around it. Larson's timing couldn't have been worse. Not even an hour earlier, the former OC and Gotham star Ben McKenzie fired off a viral tweet that linked to an article warning people about the dangers of celebrities listing NFTs. The article even included further evidence from McKenzie who became a high profile NFT skeptic to the degree he regularly writes about it online. McKenzie's advice would soon become handy as Larson revealed herself as the latest NFT pusher, prompting a wave of backlash on Twitter. Even people who defended Larson from her excessive online criticism during uh, she experienced during Captain Marvel realized that they couldn't bring themselves to back her on this one. You can see some of the reactions below. Brie Larson tweet sees what it is. Reese Witherspoon and Brie Larson are on the NFT train. The only actor we can trust is Ben McKenzie. Brie Larson's publicist seeing her newest tweet. I'm officially announcing my resignation from bringing Bree's reply guy. Please respect my privacy. I don't know, you know, point of view. You've defended Brie Larson from every bit of slander she's received, but you can't, you can't support her buying NFTs. Everyone to Brie Larson, you were the chosen one. Brie saw the Eternals and said, I'll show them who's the worst Avenger. You betrayed me. I don't know if I would go that far. I got to be honest. But I'll tell you this. This is the first time I've ever seen Brie Larson get ratioed. She actually got ratioed with 15.4 thousand quote tweets and only 9,000 likes. I've never seen that happen to my queen before. Ever. 16,000 quote tweets, 9,000 likes. And a sample of the quote tweets are obviously people just dunking on her. You don't need to use unregulated currency to support artists. You don't need to use inefficient technology to support artists. You don't need to encourage artificial scarcity and be part of a speculative market to support artists. Remember, don't buy NFTs. So is it socially acceptable to dislike Brie Larson now? I mean, they're just, these people are just, you know what? L let me, allow me to defend my queen for just a moment here, okay? It's not like Brie Larson went out and said, hey, go buy these things. I think they're the best thing on the planet. She didn't say that. She just got a, I guess the fact that she tagged the vendor, that's, I suppose that's probably shilling it, I guess you could say. But I mean, it's the lightest shill you possibly could have done. You know, like, I, I just, I don't know. Here, who paid for it? Who brokered the deal? Who did f four prominent female celebrities? Why did four prominent female celebrities debuts NFT NFTs from the same collection today? Et cetera, et cetera. It's a coordinated pump scheme. Hmm. I, I wouldn't doubt here the more mainstream support promotion NFTs gets, the more people hate them, and it's wonderful. That's from Mahler. 3.3 thousand likes. Can't believe after all the overwhelming internet hate she's got, Brie Larson finally gave the internet an actual good reason to hate her. Truly inspiring. Yikes. The internet really, I mean, you know, like, look, I don't care if you want to spend your money on NFTs. I'm not educated enough on them. To, to say, you know, what you should or shouldn't do, nor is probably anybody on Twitter who's deeply upset about it. But she's still getting her own Disney Plus series. So, Slay Queen. Avengers Endgame 2019 star and Academy Award winner Brie Larson 
of Glass Castle and Scott Pilgrim fame, never seems to catch a break from Marvel fan backlash, but it isn't stopping Disney from putting her in the forefront of a Disney Plus in a new series. Brie Larson is one of the most popular actors in the world, actresses, um, with comments of wanting to be in Star Wars as Luke Skywalker's wife, to recently supporting controversial subject of NFTs, to various political standings propelling her to the top of social media, conversations every day, people can't stop talking about her. Undoubtedly an important figure in the future. This is via InsideTheMagic.net, by the way. Brie Larson just got her own unscripted series that is coming to Disney+. Plus. Brie Larson and Marvel Universe co-star Jeremy Renner are getting their own streaming series on Disney+. Plus. While there's little information about what these Marvel alums are bringing to the table, Variety shared. Disney+, Plus has ordered two unscripted series from the actors in Marvel Universe. Brie Larson is behind Growing Up, a docuseries that looks at 10 different coming-of-age tales. Growing Up will feature episodes directed by Larson on uh, a bunch of other people I don't care about. Um about young kids telling their story. I assume they will all be extraordinarily diverse. I mean, it is Brit, it is Brie. Of course, she's stirring the pot with her various social media posts since Marvel debuted. Look, I don't really see her as shilling NFTs, but boy, that did backfire. She got absolutely destroyed. I suppose there are some things to enjoy about, about these days. Uh, stay strong, Queen Brie. Hope you enjoyed this video. By the way, if you made it to the end and you still see the red subscribe button down below and you haven't clicked it, about 45% of my viewers are not subscribed. I know you might have to create an account and that's a pain, but please do consider doing it today. I would greatly appreciate it. YouTube does not put my videos in the search results and so subscriptions are the only way you'll find them. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.